Ask yourself, what makes the perfect laptop? You're probably picturing something very thin, powerful, and quiet. Up until now, you could only pick two, thin and powerful, but it'd be loud. Thin and quiet, but it'd be weak. Powerful and quiet, but it ain't gonna be thin. Well, let's see if Asus's latest attempt is able to break that mold. <laughs> This is the ASUS ROG Zephyrus GX501, one of the first laptops featuring NVIDIA's new Max-Q design for ultra-thin gaming notebooks. So what does that mean? It's a combination of cherry-picked graphics chips from NVIDIA and a set of design principles that manufacturers have to follow in order to earn the designation. These processors are picked for having higher than average efficiency, offering at least 95% of the performance of regular chips while drawing much less power. NVIDIA hasn't told anyone what their exact specifications are, but we should expect Max-Q design laptops to be around 18 millimeters thin, have a fan no louder than 40 decibels, and weight around five pounds. Coming back to the Zephyrus, let's take a look at the physical design. Just like the Max-Q requirements, this 15.6 inch laptop is just 16.9 millimeters thin when closed and weighs 4.9 pounds. Now we mentioned closed because when you open it up, as you open it up, a transforming hinge on the bottom separates the bottom from the body, opening up a vent that leads all around to the back and sides for increased airflow. And this increases the thickness to a whopping 17.9 millimeters. Un unacceptable. When we first saw the pictures online, we thought it was an odd design choice, but in person, the bottom of the plate is very strong and it's not noticeable at all when you're sitting in front of the laptop. What is noticeable, however, is the keyboard and trackpad that have been relocated kind of to the bottom half of the laptop. Most laptops fill the top half with a keyboard and the bottom with a trackpad and offer two areas to put your wrists. However, in the interest of better cooling, ASUS put air intakes on the top half instead. As well, the touchpad on the right can be toggled between a traditional mouse trackpad and a number pad, something that's very handy if you use an external mouse. And let's face it, pretty much everyone who plays games will be using a mouse and not a trackpad. And for desk use, ASUS includes a rubber wrist rest, but it doesn't attach to the laptop. And if that bothers you, I'm sorry. Moving up to the display, we've got a gorgeous 1920 by 1080 IPS panel with a refresh rate of 120 hertz. There isn't any noticeable backlight bleeding and the hinge is very sturdy since it's also connected to the same mechanism that releases the lower vent. Around the sides, the Zephyrus is very well stocked. You'll find an HDMI output, four pole headphone and microphone jack, four USB 3 ports and a USB 3.1 Type-C port. It does not come with an ethernet port since it's actually thicker than the laptop itself, but it does come come with a USB Ethernet adapter in the box. And you can game on Wi-Fi, but only if you're crazy, man. <laughs> Speaking of included accessories, there is an ROG branded screwdriver included, so you can open up the bottom panel. It's a rare sight to see manufacturers encouraging you to open their products up. The underside opens up in two layers. The first uses regular Phillips screws, and it's an easy way for you to dust the bottom vent as well as the two fans. There is a second layer secured with Torx screws hiding the rest of the components. One stick of RAM is soldered in, but the other slot and the PCIe SSD are both user replaceable. Now let's move on to the inside. Our review unit is powered by an Intel i7-7700HQ processor, a GTX 1080 with Max-Q design, 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, 512 gigs PCIe SSD, and Windows 10 Pro. Here is one of the main differences between a Max-Q chip and a regular chip. A normal desktop GTX 1080 Founders Edition has a base clock speed of 1,607 megahertz and a boosted clock speed of 1,733 megahertz. A regular laptop GTX 1080 has a base clock of 1,556 megahertz and a boosted clock speed of 1,733 megahertz as well. Our Max-Q chip, a base clock speed of 1,228 megahertz and a mystery boosted clock speed. 
Why is it a mystery? Well, it's not officially specified anywhere. Notebook check has it listed as a maximum of 1,468 megahertz, but in our testing, our boosted clock speed peaked as high as 1,709 megahertz. We ran it through our usual list of games and some synthetic benchmarks and came to an interesting conclusion. In short, the Zephyrus performed on par with a desktop GTS 1070, within 5% in fact. Take a look at our synthetic 3D Mark numbers, for example, and you'll see that it's much more similar to a desktop GTX 1070's performance than even the regular GTX 1080's found in a laptop. You can check out some of our reviews on the desktop 1070's to get a broader picture of what kind of gaming performance you can expect right up here or down below. Now we also wanted to test the impact of the cooling vent on the bottom, so we hooked up a monitor, mouse, and keyboard, and kept the laptop closed since that's how a lot of people would use a gaming laptop at home. Surprisingly, the laptop stays in a low power state with a max temperature of just 61 degrees and a throttled maximum clock speed of around 700 megahertz. If you do plan on docking the system at home, then keep the lid open. Finally, we tested the laptop in our super accurate sound measuring box of science, or SAS. We recorded 41.6 dBA with nothing inside the box, and the same with the laptop idling in the box. With the laptop running a stress test and the fans going at full speed, it jumped to a whole 42.1 dBA. Huge. We're willing to believe Asus's claim of 40 decibels since our studio is in an industrial area with a lot of background noise all around us. Depending on what your expectations were, the Zephyrus can either be a bit disappointing or very impressive. Other laptops under 18mm thick such as the Razer Blade or the MSI GS series only come with the GTX 1060 as their most powerful graphics card. And other laptops with the GTX 1080 inside are usually much thicker and require pretty loud fans in order to keep it running cool. While the ASUS Zephyrus GX501 may not be the perfect trifecta of powerful, thin, and quiet, it's one of the best attempts we've seen so far. There was a lot of talk about NVIDIA's new Whisper Mode profile for games, but unfortunately we weren't able to test that since it isn't available yet. But as is, it only gets 2dB louder under load, so we can live without it. So if you want to learn more about the ASUS ROG Zephyrus laptop, you can click right over here or down in the description. That's it. Thanks for watching. You can click up here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCX. We'll see you in our next review. See you then. Bye.